Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today my riverboat is stopped in the town of Paseo, Germany, and we're going to take a little walk around town like we typically do. Don't have very much time on this one. And first, let me show you the map right behind me. Paseo is known as the city of three rivers. This is the Danube, and then this small river here is the Ilz, and then this is the N River. So the three rivers meet up with the Danube right here. Our ship is docked right about here, and we are going to walk around this area of town in the middle here in it's not really an island, but this is the central part of the city. So we're going to walk around and see what we have around here. So let's go. Here's some information about the rivers and other things. And the Danube is the second longest river in Europe. And it flows through nine countries before it empties out into the Black Sea. This tells also about the Inn River and the Ills River. And some other things here if you might want to read this. This is the Danube River and one time when the river flooded the flood line, believe it or not, got up to that point right there, well into the second floor of this building. We're walking around a whole lot of these very narrow ways, some of which cars still drive by because these are residential buildings that some people have cars. Like this, for example, this delivery van just drove right through this little alleyway. <laughs> Hotel Wilder Man, that's an interesting name for a hotel. And here is a glass museum. And look over here. Up on the hill. On the this is on the other side of the river. Wow, that's a nice home. <laughs> It used to be the bishop's residence. And now it's a museum. This is their visitor center. And look at this. This is flood marks. And it shows the year and how high it was. And the highest flood, 2013, it's the second highest since the year 1501. How about that? That was above this door. It's a big outdoor restaurant here. That building. The Retzkeller Passau. I like the way in Germany you can park your motorcycles just right on the sidewalk here <laughs> and pay for it but I guess bicycle parking is free this is St. Stephen's Church I wonder what this means and above that is this statue And that's what it says at the top of it. A very important saint figure for Catholics, often also called Patronia Bavaria, the mother of Bavaria, sort of. 
and what is also represented on the fountain our three rivers. You may now wonder where are the rivers? Children to represent. This is also a representation of the three rivers with one boy on the left and then two girls, one on the other side. That's what that means. And here's what it says on the side. This is the St. Stephen's Cathedral. On the right side of the cathedral, they've got some construction going on there. Here's a good shot of the clock up here. There's an angel on the side of the cathedral. It says something here. This is the back side of the, the cathedral. Keep in mind, the city fire was in 1662. He really was quick with building a cathedral. One of the reasons why it was brought here. And that's 1675, not 1075. I can get a shot here of the inside of the cathedral. Wow, these ceilings are pretty amazing. This is the pulpit right there. I'm once again St. Stephen. We have to look for the person needed, surrounded by the punishers, throwing stones at him. We see him pointing to heaven. And the last words of St. Stephen, like heaven is open. What is the There's a real story in there, I think. They've got a really huge pipe organ here. With, I don't know how many pipes, but it's a huge number. Anywhere from about a, some smallest pipes are about an inch and the largest pipes are about 36 feet high more statues here on the sides way up there Here's what it says along the side entrance. This is Chart Magna, and I just assume that's referring to the Magna Carta. This is a statue that is right outside the grounds of the cathedral. Well, folks, it was a fairly short tour. We don't have much time here in Passau, but it was a nice little tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments. Good day, folks.